so Brie and I both met back in the summer of 2018 at a camp out in the US. First time I seen you, you had on your shades and a walkie, and you were like swaggering across the parking lot or something. And I was like, oh, he looks kind of badass. <laughs> and then I found out you were the janitor. A bit more than the janitor. Ah, uh, you were a janitor. Eventually, some people found out that I had a crush on Aaron and... I, I, I kind of liked Bree, she was alright, I mean, that was nice. He kind of liked me, he was obsessed with me. Mm. And Mariah said, let's do a double date. And I was like, if you can get her to agree to it, go on. And she did. Oh, I, was, I don't think that was the first date. I guess that was. Well, that was our first kind of date. That was the first unofficial date. The first actual date was Ikea. And then I tried to do, to like get on work crew all the time to help you. And we never worked, it's like, oh, someone needs to do work. I was like, oh, I guess I'll do it. and Alex the same summer. Well, Aaron met Alex the summer before, but mm. I met Corey and Alex and Aaron all at the same time. And you. <laughs> can't, can't forget you. I liked Corey because the first time I met her, someone, we were in a, it was a workplace for us because we were working there and someone put up their hand and asked to go to the toilet. And Corey said, you're an adult, just go. And I, that was when I knew we were going to be best friends. <laughs> Aaron, that was a bit violent. Stop doing that! That's stinking! <laughs> so with Alex and I, um, we met the summer before that. And I, like, I don't think there was a moment where like, someone asked to go to the toilet and they clicked. Like, I, think we just kinda, <laughs> I just think we kind of just got on. I don't know if Alex, Alex maybe has got a different opinion, but yeah. You haven't seen it yet? Not in person. Wow! <laughs> I see it. And I think 
what made the wedding special for us. Amongst being restrictions because of all the BS going on, we were able to bring together like our best friends from across the world, which is quite cool, no? marriage when we were first dating because I kind of did but I didn't think <laughs> there were some times in there where I didn't think we would quite make it same oh however Ooh. but even back at camp when I wasn't in the same place I'm in now I still had dating form dating with the intention of marriage in mind. So I didn't think I didn't think we would be getting married three years up no. like three years after we met. It's funny because I think our relationship we both made some bad choices along the way mm. and probably there's every good chance we wouldn't have been together but I guess we've just been very fortunate that we've came through and found faith and Went through it. got through it because at one point that sounds drastic but for me we kind of got to a point where it was either do we get married or do we break up because like we got to a point where it's well, you're supposed to be getting married, and that's a massive step. You know? You know? It is a massive step, Aaron. One I wouldn't take lightly. No, we did. Uh, we did what? We did take a step. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hmm. We've changed quite a bit since then. At least in my opinion, I think as people, we've both changed a considerable amount. And um, a lot of people think that you, if if you want to grow and change, you have to do it on your own. I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of couples break up saying, "Oh, I need to find myself," or whatever, which is fine and good, and that works for some people. But I think. You can do a lot of important growing with someone else as well. Big day. Yes, um, 